just ask it. Yeah. Congratulations, Pocket National Champion. What Thank is the you. feeling like right now? Um, very surreal after what happened last year. So super excited. So excited for my team to get fifth. What was the difference between this year and last year for you? Um, honestly, just like learning to like trust my body more and like last year was my uh, second time at NCAAs and so it's just like it's a matter of experience and trusting yourself and your coach and your confidence. Was the race plan going in to just front run as much as you did? Hold on? Or? No, I don't know if you actually saw the race, but I wasn't out there until probably like, I want to say a K. I don't know how long it was, but it was probably a good like three or four minutes. I was like boxed in. And then once I finally got out, I was like, you know what? No, look at back now. Did you feel them on you? Like, did you have any sense of like how far behind people were? I had no idea. I just said to myself, no looking back. Once you go for it, you go for it. Where does that confidence, confidence come from? Um, <laughs> my coach, he just said to trust myself and my instincts and trust that I'm fit. It's actually like a lot, like you'd be surprised. I, I'm like lack confidence, like going into this race, like I lack a lot of, I didn't trust myself, but my coach just kept assuring me that I was fit and I could do it. Yeah. And the terrain was a pretty, pretty rigorous out there. Did you take that into account when you walked the course the day before and, and today? Did you, were there certain places that you thought that you may make a difference and push downhill or push uphill? Um, I did, well, I did not walk the course yesterday. I ran the course, um, but I would have loved to walk the course. But no, I, I actually like, everyone online was like, no, she's gonna do so bad on this course. This course doesn't favor her. This course is uneven. She's not gonna be able to do it. And so honestly, I took that as my motivation to prove people wrong. Yeah, what gives you the what gives you the strength to go up these hills? Because you know you do you only have many in Gainesville, and you um, have on the on the arc trainer and stuff. To be honest, there are a lot of hills in Gainesville. Like I don't know if you guys saw our Gainesville like golf course that yeah. we had the race on. I'm not gonna lie, that race was probably like harder, not harder. This race was definitely a harder effort, but like that race was harder than this race to me. Like there was a lot more hills in that race. Yeah, in that race you had trainers on, and today. Today I got no shoes on. I ran barefoot. Actually. <laughs> um, no, I wore dragonflies today. Yeah, last week. Uh, last week, yeah, that was just we took that as a training race. So just you know, make it to nationals, which we did. What did you think of the crowd and atmosphere? Um, it was awesome having people all around. Um, I just I tried to block out the noise because I don't. Everyone's screaming like they're this far, this far. I'm like just focus on yourself, for your race, and yeah. Do you think you're a lot fitter than you were at this meet last year? Um. Honestly, I feel like I like feel less fit if that makes any sense. It probably doesn't make sense to you, but I don't know. I just I lacked I think I had more confidence going into last year than I did this year. And that was that a blow to your confidence then getting beaten last year in NCAAs? Um yeah. no, I mean I was still proud of myself that I gave it my all and I gave it my all for that day and it didn't work out and I gave it my all today and it worked out. So. Did having your, your team around Not this every weekend, day is going to be your best day. Did having your team around this weekend feel different from last year at all? Oh my gosh. It honestly, like, it is such a, like, it's so much more fun with the team. Like, we just, like, we all hang out and all, like, we train together every single day and work really hard for this moment. So it's awesome. I went from no team last year to fifth place this year with the team. So it's honestly so surreal. Last one, best one. And you have proven yourself to be a great hill runner. I mean, Florida, not necessarily <laughs> comparable to here or Stillwater last year. Where do you think that? I'm not gonna lie. I think that this course was hillier than Stillwater. Okay. Well, where do you think that strength comes from with you being able to really attack them and other girls? You didn't see it behind you, but they. they um, I think that I have said this before. Um, the arc trainer. I think everyone really just like doesn't believe it, but like you put that resistance up, you put that incline up, it can mimic hill. It's honestly harder than hills to me. It's like how like sprinters train with like their weight vests on. It's like you're training like against resistance. Then once you actually like going up the hill, it's like, wow, I do this every day, but like this is so much easier. Cause like you just have no weight. Can you get more specific? Like what do you set the resistance and incline to when you're working out there? Um, so every, like everyone is different. Oh, I, I actually it. went to a gym in um, this town yes two days ago and like i swear this art trainer was from like the 1940s or something and like it did not like the ones i use have like the modern like touch screens but this one um like it had like half the resistance half the incline so i can't really give a specific one because every like machine is different but like i put the resistance pretty high so it's like you're really like pushing into like the weight so you were on the art trainer in charlottesville two days ago then. i was yes yeah. at the rec center i think it's called i forget the name of it i'm not gonna lie 
North Grounds or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you like the art trainer versus just a typical elliptical or other cross trainer? Um, the elliptical to me is like a shuffling motion and like the arc trainer, I don't know, I have really long legs so like it allows me to more have more of a stride I'd say. Did you do and it's just like what I've been doing since I started cross training. Have you ever right, zero gravity treadmill stuff? Or have I what? Do you, do you ever do like zero gravity treadmill? Um, um, no, I'm not a fan of it, not gonna lie. And since last year, you did go, th Florida went through a coaching change. So you got a new coach this year compared to last cross country yes. season. How was that transition for you? Um, I was actually just talking to someone about this the other day. It was a very rough transition at first, I'm not going to lie. But um, once I started believing and trusting that everything happens for a reason and I started trusting Palmer, it obviously won two national championships. So when do you start trusting? Yeah. Thank you, Arik. <laughs> when did that trust, like, when was the moment of trust where you kind of like, okay, I believe in this guy now? Um, I, like when he, I, it, it was gradual. Like once he, once he first got there, like obviously he's a very established coach. Like I know that he knows what he's doing. I just like, I have a very different approach to training. And so, but we we work very well together now. And I'm very grateful for him and Sam. All right, guys. Thank you.